at your command, Neville Goddard. Chapter 1. Can man decree a thing and have it come to pass? Most decidedly he can. Man has always decreed that which has appeared in this world and is today decreeing that which is appearing in his world and shall continue to do so. As long as man is conscious of being man, not one thing has ever appeared in man's world, but what man decreed that it should, this you may deny, but try as you will, you cannot disprove it. For this decreeing is based upon a changeless principle. You do not command things to appear by your words or loud affirmations. Such vain repetition is more often than not confirmation of the opposite. Decreeing is ever done in consciousness. That is, every man is conscious of being that which he has decreed himself to be. The dumb man, without using words, is conscious of being dumb. Therefore, he has decreed himself to be dumb. When the Bible is read in this slide, you will find it to be the greatest scientific book ever written. Instead of looking upon the Bible as the historical record of an ancient civilization or the biography of the unusual life of Jesus, see, see it as a great psychological drama taking place in the consciousness of man. Claim it as your own and you will suddenly transform your world from the barren deserts of Egypt to the promised lands of Canaan. Everyone will agree with the statement that all things were made by God and without him there is nothing made that is made. But what man does not agree upon is the identity of God. All the churches and priesthoods of the world disagree as to the identity and true nature of God. The Bible proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that Moses and the prophets were in 100% accord as to the identity and nature of God and Jesus' life and teachings are in agreement with the findings of the prophets of old. Moses discovered God to be man's awareness of being when he declared these little understood words, I am have sent that me up unto you. David sang in his psalms, Be still and know that I am God. Isaiah declared, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast known not known me, I form the light and create darkness, I make peace and create evil, I the Lord do all these things. The awareness of being as God is stated hundreds of times in the New Testament, to name but a few, I am the shepherd, I am the door, I am the resurrection and the life, I am the way, I am the Alpha and Omega, I am the beginning and the end, and again, whom do you say that I am? It is not stated, I Jesus am the door, I Jesus am the way, nor is it said, whom do you say that I Jesus am? It's clearly stated, I am the way. The awareness of being is the door through which the manifestations of life pass into the world of form. Consciousness is the res resurrecting power. Resurrecting that which man is conscious of being. Man is ever out picturing that which he is conscious of being. This is the truth that makes man free. For man is always self-imprisoned or self-freed. If you, the reader, will give up all of your former beliefs in a God apart from yourself and claim God as your awareness of being, as Jesus and the prophets did, you will transform your world with the realization that I and my Father are one. This statement, I and my Father are one, but my father is greater than I, seems very confusing, but if interpreted in the light of that, of what we have just said, concerning the identity of God, you'll find it very revealing. Consciousness being God is as father of the thing that you are conscious of being is the son, bearing witness of his father, it is like the conceiver in its conceptions. The conceiver is ever greater than his conceptions, yet ever remains one with his conception. For instance, before you are conscious of being man, you are first conscious of being, then you become conscious of being man, yet you remain as conceiver greater than your conception, man. Jesus discovered this glorious truth and declared himself to be one with God, not a God that man had fashioned, for he never recognized such a God. He said, if any man should ever come saying, look here or there, Believe them not, for the kingdom of God is within you, heaven is within you. Therefore, when it is recorded that he went unto his father, it is telling you that he rose in consciousness to the point where he was just conscious of being, thus transcending the limitations of present conception of himself called Jesus.